assuming you're pretty curious to hear what I'm going to say. So am I. I'm pretty curious. <laughs> I might say. Um, first of all, I'm very glad to see there are no children here. There's one piece in this book when I asked Abby what I could read, what I should read. Um, she said you can read anything but this one particular story. Soft edge of the 
very slightly to pick slick pine box into the grave, drop it in on top of it. <coughs> it takes them a while to get Cousin Ennis out, and he nearly drowns in the liquid mud before they do. They have to put a rope around the box and raise one end of it. And one of the men stands on the coffin in the process, adding his weight to the coffin and dead Cousin Elijah pressing down on Cousin Ennis, who is screaming from underneath the coffin that he can see the devil. <laughs> His voice makes bubbling, garbling sounds, and we all think maybe the devil has already grabbed hold of him. Turns out to be the mud in his mouth. They finally squeeze Cousin Ennis around the side of the box and drag him up out of the grave by his coat. One of the coat sleeves rips off as he comes sucking up out of the mud. Cousin Ennis stands there in the rain by the side of the grave, blowing mud from his nose and digging chunks of black stuff out of his eyes and ears. He appears to be angry. The man who's been standing on the coffin takes a shovel and levers the box flat again, then climbs out of the hole. By then, all of the commotion has caused the mud to partially refill the grave. Most of the mud under the coffin and dead cousin Elijah in the hole, only about half as deep as he's supposed to be. That's when they realized the coffin was lying flat all right, but it's upside down. <laughs> Cousin Ennis, who didn't really like Cousin Elijah all that much anyway, rips off his one sleeve coat, throws it into the grave, grabs a shovel, and begins to fling mud down on top of it. He has completely covered the coat and box before the other can join in. And so Cousin Elijah ends up in the shallow grave exactly as he spent 